Netflix has some pretty grand plans. What are they? Well, to put it simply, the company wants to boost the quality of streaming videos while using less data and unclog the entire internet. Joining us now to discuss this is Joan Solzman, business and technology editor at The Wrap. Joan, thanks for joining us today. Great to be here. So you mentioned Netflix's uh, ambitious goals. What have they achieved so far? Well, so far, Netflix has achieved a great amount in terms of traffic on the internet. By far, Netflix is the biggest traffic driver on North American home networks. It has 37% of bandwidth. YouTube is second, it's 20 points behind at 17. Wow, that really puts it in perspective uh, when you realize more than a third of bandwidth is going to Netflix at peak hours. Do you see this um, plan ever coming to fruition? How long will it take? What, what kind of plan are we actually talking about here? I think that the plan is already coming to fruition. I've read that Netflix has already deployed some of these algorithms uh, in tests to subscribers already. The point of these tests is that you're not supposed to notice it. It's really on the back end where Netflix starts to realize some of the benefits of having the same streams come to your home with the same quality, at least not noticeably any different, but Netflix doesn't have to take up quite as much of the internet's infrastructure to deliver them. So does this mean when I'm streaming content and I'm doing it maybe at a peak time of the day and I get that circle sign where the, you know, all of a sudden it freezes up and, and my TV or my streaming device seems to be thinking that, that maybe that's not gonna be the case anymore? Well, the problem with buffering, when you see that aggravating circle spinning ball, <laughs> is that one of the reasons could be a problem with Netflix, but there's so many other points along the chain. It could be a problem with your region, there being a bottleneck right in your neighborhood. And so this is one way that Netflix is able to control what it can control by reducing the amount of volume of data that one stream has to take up that will help offset the occurrences of those terrible spitting balls that interrupt your binge sessions. <laughs> and they are binge, binge sessions, I will, uh, I will concede that. Uh, so you say Netflix is the clear winner in this space already, why? Well, just if you look at the numbers, Netflix has more traffic than any other streaming content provider. What's interesting is that Netflix needs to reach different kinds of subscribers for it to grow. Netflix has already reached those tech-savvy people and people that are passionate about movies and passionate about shows. For its next realm of growth, it needs to be reaching those people that aren't quite as tech-savvy, that maybe don't have the best networks into their home. And that's where this plan that reduces the load that it takes to see a really nice stream it'll be accessible to more people that are in rural areas and importantly for Netflix in international countries where bandwidth isn't at the top of its game. Yeah, and why is being the winner not necessarily a good thing either? It could be that it could be a double-edged sword. What's the flip side? Well, the problem that Netflix faces is that as people are gravitating to more high-definition kinds of content, like 4K, which is becoming more popular, that exponentially increases how much data it takes to deliver those streams. So it's kind of fighting, you have a double-edged sword in that Netflix is the most popular subscriber provider of video on the internet by traffic, but that also means they have the greatest mountain to climb in terms of surmounting the delivery of all that traffic. Hence some of, the, some of these uh, developments that we've been talking about today. Joan Solzman, thanks for joining us. Thank you for watching. I'm Morgan Brennan. Have a great day. Hey YouTube fans, I'm Landon Dowdy from CNBC. Thanks so much for checking out our channel. Here you'll find videos packed with all the info that you need to be smarter about your finances. Be sure and subscribe by clicking right here and click on all the videos around me to see CNBC's original series, Young Money, Tech Bet, Kramer's Mad Money, and all the latest from CNBC.